Spooky jack-o'-lanterns aren't the only thing haunting us this harvest season. Climate change is no longer just a scary story that threatens our future, but it is harming us here and now. For the third year in a row, the Peconic Bay's iconic scallops are dying in mass amounts before the harvest season begins. Research shows that the calamity is a result of high water temperatures and parasites that are annihilating the adult scallop population. Although Dr. Stephen Tuttlebach, a shellfish exologist for the Cornell Cooperative Extension's Marine Program, says that the parasites may not be as deadly as the rise in water temperatures. We were able to get some samples last year from Nantucket where they have not experienced any um, over die-offs of adult scallops and all of those, 100%, have had, had the parasite. So we think the big difference, we think the big difference is the, um, the difference in temperature, water temperatures in the Antarctica are not nearly as high as uh, they are here, and we think that's, that's really the, the linchpin. It's been almost two years since the pandemic has caused many people to lose their jobs, but for many baymen, this will be the third year they will go without income because of the shortage. Pete Wenzel, a 67-year-old South Hold Bayman, says he will most likely not have an income for the season and that he is not going out on the first day of the harvest because it looks like a bit of a disaster. Unfortunately for many baymen, scallops aren't the only commercial product in the bay that are disappearing. Due to the lack of regulation, fisheries on the island are on the verge of collapse, leaving the channeled whelk with little protection. With the scallop um, fishery being decimated and then also, channeled whelk. Uh, this is another important commercial species um, that um, really have seen a, um, a crash of the, of the fishery over the last uh, five, ten years. Um, and the, uh, unlike with base golf, I, I think that is directly due to um, overfishing. Tedabak and Wenzel have been working together for a number of years to push the Department of Ecological Conservation to enforce regulations for conch fisheries. Wenzel himself has written regulations, but the DEC still drags the feet when it comes to putting the regulations in place. This is Ray S. Wilson reporting from the Great Peconic Bay, New York.